From eight years old, this woman had a ticker tape running in her mind. Suicide, 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 suicide. Do it now. And this continued into her adult life. When I asked her, what does her insurance and social security disability mean to her? She said, it means God. It tells me there is a God and he saved my life. I am so grateful for it. I don't understand how it works, but it works. I also live in fear of losing it. I am the artist behind these paintings, and the project is called Artist Social Inquiry. These are all portrait stories, and what I'm trying to do is use art to ask, how do our opinions play out in real lives? If we could see the faces that are affected by our opinions and our policies, would we feel differently? Would we want different laws? Artist Social Inquiry is a way to make a connection to a real person. When I was a kid, I could go into a room and feel everything everybody was feeling. It was really, frankly, quite overwhelming. It felt like I was being pummeled with rocks. I later learned in life that that sensitivity that I had and have is my superpower. It's what I use to connect with the people I interview. I try to really feel who they are and listen intently, and when I'm painting them, I look for that same feeling. I look for that person to stare back at me from the canvas. And I always know when it happens, when the soul enters the canvas, because a chill goes up my spine. Artist Social Inquiry has covered subjects like death, immigration, war, but most of my time has been spent looking at how we access healthcare in the United States. This gentleman had premature twins and he gets called into the office. Your benefits have run out. We have at this company a policy with a lifetime limit. His twins' bills exceeded the limit to what the policy would pay out. Can you imagine? Here's a guy doing his thing. He finds out he's on the hook for half a million dollars. The United States ranks last among peer nations, developed countries, in access to health care. And we're seeing that statistic play out in real life. This is Jenny Fritz. Jenny moved with her husband to a new state and she discovered she was pregnant. Her husband's job did not provide health insurance. She did not qualify for any kind of assistance because they didn't live in the state long enough. Pregnancy at the time was considered a pre-existing condition. No insurance company would sell her an individual policy. About seven and a half months into the pregnancy, she developed serious problems and her husband took her to the emergency room. She didn't have insurance, so she was sent home. By the third time, the husband went to a different hospital and said, I left my insurance card at home, and they admitted her. When Jenny entered the hospital, she had pneumonia, respiratory failure, septic shock, heart failure, brain bleed. The doctors delivered a stillborn baby, baby girl, her second child. And 50 days later, Jenny died in this country, in the United States of America, because she cannot get insurance. Forgive us, Jenny. Forgive us. The health insurance story in this country is made up of people's lives. This is Adrienne. After college, she could not work. She was exhausted. She knew something was wrong with her. Then she found out she had multiple sclerosis. No insurance, no job. She just graduated and unable to get a job. She applied four times for the traditional Medicaid in the state and was denied four times. It just so happens that Governor Tom Wolf was elected in 2014, and the first thing he did was Medicaid expansion. And by the end of the summer, Adrienne got health insurance and treatment. If you voted for Tom Wolf, you helped save Adrienne's life. Hundreds of thousands, millions of other Adriennes are out there. As hard as it is, if we're to truly solve the problems, we need to jump into other people's ditches. It takes 
perseverance and courage to say, I will sit and I will listen and I will be open. Unflinching receptivity to what another person's story is, is deliberate compassion and it has personal benefits that I hope you will discover tonight.